Let's go through my approach on how to catch clear water evening crappie using an underwater camera in and around weed beds. First key thing is to set up before it gets dark. Now what habitat I'm looking for to find clear water crappie is roughly eight to 12 feet of water around static weeds. So a lot of times I'll start out with a bait that will call in the fish like this Rapala rip and wrap. It's got a big profile and makes a lot of noise. So fish will come in from all around to check it out. Usually they'll catch those aggressive fish first. Sometimes you'll be able to coerce the hesitant fish into biting these baits as a reaction strike, but sometimes nothing happens like it did here. One nice thing though is, is that uh, these baits will bring in a lot of fish that you can target with smaller baits. Sometimes a surprise fish will come in like this golden shiner. Since these fish weren't interested in hitting the rip and wrap, I scaled down to a small tungsten jig with a plastic on the back. With a smaller profile bait, you can usually get these finicky biters to actually take your bait. However, I'm not the best with plastics. I don't have the right cadence down, especially in this film, uh, to really get them to strike, as I tend to use a lot of maggots and wax worms. Since that last plastic wasn't working, I switched it up to a glow tungsten as the sun was starting to come down and a gulp uh, pink maggot, which my buddy had been doing well with uh, prior. As you can see, this perch absolutely annihilates this bait. And as we get later in the evening, a bite window starts to open. Generally when I'm fishing for crappie, if I can find uh, the bluegill first, it's usually an indicator that there's crappie not far behind. Generally in clear water, uh, crappie will show up around that low light period, around dusk. That's when they generally are more, most active and moving through these weeds. So I'm about 10 yards away from my buddy and he started to nail some crappie. So I decided I better move because that 10 yards can really make a difference uh, with where those crappie are moving through. Since you only get a limited time to figure these fish out, you want to make sure that you're getting baits in front of them. So making that move uh, was key. The big difference that that 10 yards made was I was more within the weed bed surrounded by big weeds where my buddy was sitting out on the edge of the weeds with more scattered weeds along a mud flat. I was able to get set up pretty quickly and the fish were waiting as I got a bite almost instantly when I put my bait down. If you get on the right bite, it can be a lot of fun as these crappie and even bluegill can be very aggressive, which makes it a lot easier to catch numbers and even some of the bigger fish. A few key things you want to do though is make sure you have a bait that has glow paint on it as you can supercharge that up uh, with a UV light or your flashlight to make it easier for them to see. But you also want to jig slightly above them. so maybe halfway up the water column, depending on how deep you're fishing, uh, as crappie generally will be looking upwards and like to feed up. So sometimes when you're jigging for them, you'll even get slack in your line. That's from the crappie hitting up on them. Now, using the underwater camera, it really lets me see uh, what's going on down there. And it should help me fine tune my techniques and my cadence, as well as what bait to use. Thanks for taking the time to watch to the end. Uh, please subscribe if you like this video and please let me know uh, the methods that you like to use catching uh, clear water evening crappie. And hopefully these tips help you catch more fish.